Good morning and welcome. I have been waiting with a great deal of anticipation for this morning's service. <laughs> I have not been the one lying awake on Saturday night thinking, oh, are those words that I've chosen the right words to reflect the mystery that we call God? That, oh, is somebody going to get angry with me because I didn't quite get that right? Or, um, oh, I wish I could sleep because I have to work tomorrow. He's been doing that instead. So I don't need to tell you how blessed we are as a circle of friends to have Thomas Eric Dietzel in our midst. Um, and in fact, how blessed we have been this entire season of having all of these images both on the walls of this building and up on the screen in our midst as a means of inviting us to experience in ways that we have our entire life, but in a way to make it a little bit more conscious, all the ways that we connect to the mystery that we call God. And we all know that this Protestant tradition has been so word dominant. Um, we have forgotten that, in fact, if we're going to really be Protestant, and if we're going to go deeply into our root, our founding father, and he was a father, insisted that if we wanted to experience the mystery underneath us all, we used the sacred text as one window. A window. It's not a paper pope. It's just a window. And the other window is the entire creation. And those of you I know who love to garden, and those of you who love to be on the beach, and those of you who love to walk through the trees, know that in those places you're experiencing sanctuary and sacred space as much and more than maybe you do in this space. But here's where we reflect on that, those experiences as Protestants. So I'm going to invite you again this morning to consider a scene around you, consider a scene on the screen, and go to that place of deep connection where you know that regardless of the tumult that you may be experiencing in your life, in the world around you, on the planet, there may be respite, there may be peace, there may be grace. So normally at this time of the service, we would read from our sacred scripture and deep within our tradition also would be an invitation to conclude that reading with, this has been the, Lord, the word of the Lord, thanks be to God. But remember that that first opening to the book of John begins, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. And that word, word, is a word that means logos, okay? Word logos. And the larger meaning of that is intention. In the beginning, before there were any words on papers or any biblical text, there was this intention of God. And this intention of God was planted and is reflected in the world around us. So look at these images in your midst and the ones on your screen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And one invitation, please, at any time, if you would like to applaud, we're going to withhold our applause till the very end of this piece of the service. 